Well, not only is Memorial Day the unofficial start to summer, it's also the weekend most people get a jump start on their gardening. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson takes us to a local nursery to find out what you can do to protect your plants against the frosty night ahead. It's one of the busiest weekends of the year for us. With the holiday weekend upon us, many Western New Yorkers are preparing to brighten up their landscapes. My husband does most of the planting. I'm kind of the supervisor. I stand and say, put it there. And after years of supervising, Jenny Fire of Tonawanda knows there is one dreaded event that can easily wipe out her spring plants. Frost. We keep Mr. Frost away. <laughs> With the overnight forecast calling for a freeze warning for counties south of the city and a frost advisory for northern counties, folks with annuals or vegetables already in the ground may have a little extra work to do. In Western New York, we always just have to be careful of what the weather is doing. Sometimes we need to be prepared to pull out some old sheets and throw them over our plants. Whether you decide to use an old sheet or even a tarp, that bit of extra coverage will protect those plants. Another challenge this season, a recent spell of hot and dry weather. I'm used to the hot, then the cold, then the very hot, then the very, very cold. Since March 1st, the region has only seen less than five inches of rain. That's about three inches under the average. Barbarish says those hoping for a plush green yard this season, this could make growing grass difficult. When you start to do all of your planting, you will need to want to make sure that stuff stays watered and doesn't get dry, dry out right after you plant your, your annuals or your vegetables, anything like that. And again, with the freeze and frost warnings in effect tonight, be sure to cover those delicate annuals and vegetable plants with a sheet, tarp, or burlap. And if you have uh, potted plants, rather, your best bet is just to pull them indoors. Sierra Johnson, 407 Eyewitness News.